The two most dangerous intersections for violent crime in Nashville are steps away from an elementary school, folks. This is a story you'll only see here on News 4. Kim St. Ange is live in South Nashville right now. Kim, you ask Metro schools if they knew about this. What do they say? They had no idea about this until I told them today. Police have been called to this neighborhood on Murfreesboro Pike for more violent crimes in the last three months than any other area in the entire city. Right up the street, an elementary school. By day, you'll see parents walking their kids home from school. Come night, it's a different story. I always try to carry like a personal knife on me at all times, just a small one, just to be safe. I've never had to use it, thank God. I dug through police records and found there have been 25 violent crimes in this neighborhood since May. Those include murder, robbery, assault, and rape. The intersection of East Thompson Lane and Murfreesboro Pike alone had 13 reports of violent crimes. Millwood Drive and Murfreesboro Pike, 12. Both less than a mile from Glenview Elementary. Well, I mean, it's definitely concerning. Um, but at a certain point, you just have to live your life. Metro Schools says students do regular safety drills and all schools have 24 seven security. We ask parents if that's enough. Hay que pedir que haya este seguridad. With her son translating, Alondra Rodriguez, whose kids go to Glenview, was surprised to hear about the violence. Maybe she will be more secure around this area. Her son says Glenview teachers are already taking steps to keep kids safe. Teachers are outside waiting for the moms to get, get their ki kids. They, they're not just going to let them um, go out like that. They're waiting for their moms. I asked Metro Schools tonight, hey, are you planning to make any security changes after I told them about all the violence in this neighborhood so close to that elementary school? As of the time our 10 p.m. show started, I have not yet heard back. Tom, Tracy. Kim St. Ange, live tonight. Important stuff there.